Welcome back, CSC 121, to exercise 21D, part of our Ford list exercises, and the first ones that we're doing in Replit Classroom. And remember, if you log into Replit after enrolling, you should see students down here, and you could click there, and you should see your classroom. So all that you have to do is click on that. And here's your assignment so far. These are the ones I did. One thing I just want to point out is this is the last one I did, 21C and they have this little thing here that says export and what this will do is put this as a regular replit in your account so that you have that separate from the classroom if you need to see it or if you just need a backup of it so if you just go here it'll just add it and you can just keep it with the same name unless you want to put your last name on it you could put you know whatever home R on it or something and that way it's in your replit account so if anything happens or you just have problems getting into the classroom you could always just share your replit with me and also have a backup of it if you're ever not in the classroom anymore. So I'm just going to hit export and that means it's going to be part, and there it is. That's going to be part of the replit, so there it is. So now it's just like a regular replit. And if you go in here and you wonder how do I get back to the classroom, you just have to go back, I think, to here and just go back on students again. And now you're back in your classroom and now I'm going to do the leap year exercise. Again, this is one that I did not invent it was on another site with Python exercises with numbers and things like that. And it's, again, it's not a real long exercise, so that's why it's in this group of four. So I'm going to click on this one. And I haven't done this for a while. I didn't just practice it, so we'll work our way through it a little bit. But when we go in here, we're going to just check out the information in our instructions. We're going to find out leap years from 1599 to 2024. And I think that's when they started even counting leap years. But leap years basically is when there's a February with 29 days because everything isn't divisible of 365 completely. So every so many years, there's a leap year to kind of even things up based on the Earth rotation. That's your science for the day. But anyway, it occurs on any year divisible by four. So I think the last leap year might have been 2020. So there's a couple of rules here. It's not just every four years. It's every four years except when it's divisible by 100. So that means it wouldn't have been in the year 2000 unless it's divisible by 400. So we have to kind of figure that out a second. So what we'll do first to, to try it out is we'll just try to print out every four years and just work on that first. Now you don't have to worry about a function here. I know in the previous one we did a function, but let's just get this to work first. So what we're gonna do first is see how we could print out all of the years and print out every four with leap after that. So th this won't be correct first, but let's see if we could just start off with a loop. So we're gonna start off with a loop. We're gonna say for I, in and we can maybe use a while loop or maybe we could use a for loop. I'll start off with a for loop and see how that works. And I'll say for i in range. And since we're dealing with numbers here, we do have a range, so that indicates that we could use a for loop. So I'll start with 1599, one below 1600, and then I'll use a comma and I'll do 2024, although I'll use 2025. So it still puts 2024 in there because that'll be the next four years that come up. So for in that range, what do we want to do? Well, we want to print them all out first. So we're going to we're going to print all those years out. So we're going to have a long list down here. What we're going to do here is we're just going to we could just print out i. Now that would print out that would just print out all the years. So if we just did that and we ran it, there's all our years. So we have all our years. But before we print out i, what we'd like to do is say if and then we'll say if it's divisible by 4. So we'll say if i is remember how to do divisible from the previous one, divisible by four equals equals zero, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna say print i and we're gonna say leap. We're gonna, you could even just put a comma here and just put a, like a string. We could just do this as a quick thing and just put leap after it. So you, you could do that, dash leap. So if that's the case, it'll be dash leap. And else, we could even go back here and just do an else. And then the else would be print i. So let's see what happens if, if we do that. Okay, so what it's doing now, it's printing leap years every four years, which is fine because that, that's working. Okay, except it, that's not the way leap years work because leap years will not include, so it's not going to be on a century. It's divisible by four, but except on a century divisible by 100. So that means it wouldn't be on like a 1900 an 1800 or a 1700 unless it's divisible by 400 that would mean something like 2000 i guess would be 
would be a leap year. We have to kind of put those things in here so we get the right one here. So if it's if it's divisible by four, that's one of our things that we're going to do. And then it also has to be, so if it's also, that would be an and. So we could throw an and in here and see what happens. And again, we could test this out. I don't have this memorized of how I did it. And but it but it also has to be again if we're looking at these two conditions one if it's divisible by four except it's also going to be and not it's not going to be divisible by a hundred so so if you just did something like that even if we we keep out the four hundred right now if we just did that and we thought okay let's just take out the ones that are divisible by a hundred and and run that. Let's see what that does. It's still putting it every four years. It should take away things like 1800, 1900. There's 1800. See, 1800 does not have it. It's divisible by four, and it's not. Div so that's working. So let's keep moving up here. 1900 should not be in this list. 1900 isn't, so that's working. And let's get closer to our time period. And 2000 should not be in there, except it is divisible by 400. So we should have 2,000 in there. And here's 2024 will be a leap year. I guess 2020 was a leap year. So we have to find a way to get 2,000 in there. Now that's the only number that would be in there because unless we had 1,600, let's check. 1,600 should be a leap year because it's divided by 400. So we need to add in 1,600 and 2,000. So how do we do that? We already have this. So I'm just trying this out because I, I didn't look at the way I did it last time. So I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. So let's see if we could put another and here. And, and we'll say i is divisible of 400. So if they meet all these criteria, let's see how this works. Now that didn't work because it took out everything because it, it wants it to be all of these things. So it can't be all of those things. It can be this and that, but then if you say and also divisible, that's going to that's gonna mess it up as a qualifier, as a validation, because it can't meet all three. So we can't do all three ands here. So, so somewhere we have to put in an or. So let's try an or here and see what we get. And we want to check if 2,000 is in there. Now 2,000 is there as a leap now, and it should be. And now 1,900 should not be. So let's see if we could go down to 1,900. And 1,900 is not. And 1800 should not be. And let's see if 1600 is in there. And 1600 is. So that is a leap year. So this worked by using, I used a not, I, I mentioned here, I did a different way. And I, maybe it's good that I just kind of started this out just kind of uh, without looking at a previous version that I did, because this is probably simpler. So by using an or here, we kind of validated so that it has to be divisible by four and it has to be not divisible by 100, so, so that was the main thing, but it could be divisible by 400, and that's kind of what that says. I kind of followed that literally, and it worked out, so I just had to use an and and an or. So what I said down here about using a not, I think I did that with a not another time and used parentheses, but this actually worked out okay. So if you did that, good for you without even <laughs> watching this video, but if you watch this video, that's pretty simple just to do that, I think, and I think I got it right because if we double check here, and you could always look up leap years, uh, the idea is we just don't want to have them on the century mark except for 2000 and 16 and 1600 and we do have we do have 2000 here and we do have 1600 and we just had a leap year 2020 we're going to have one in 2024 you could submit over here and also when you submit I mentioned this make sure you export it and put it in there you could put your last name first initial on there that will be in your regular repellent in addition to being submitted but that way you'll have it in both places let me go back in here a second i think i forgot something print the leap years and then it printed and then it says print the total number of leap years that occur hmm i forgot that so what i could do here is just make a counter Fortunately, I already submitted it. Let me unsubmit it. So this is a good uh, example. If unsubmit, you're like, oh, wait a minute, I need to fix this. You can go here and we'll just put a counter. I'll just call it count like the previous one. And I'll just put zero because we're going to count things. And then I'm just going to say count plus or equals one. And then at the end, at the end of our whole list, and we don't, we want to get that out of the loop. We could just say print count. And that way we'll print all our leap years, all our regular years, and then the count of the leap years. And then you can just do something like leap years. Put that in a string. You can put a comma. 
and then we'll run that and see how that works and we'll run it and I came out with 104 leap years between 2024 and 1599 so again I just edit that I'll submit it and if you need to export it again I I'm not sure if it'll update or not, if it makes a new one or if it up updates it. I guess we have to export it each time if you did edit it. So anyway, that's the end of 21D leap years in your list exercises.